Hi, I'm Emily with Lake Light, and today I'm going to show you how to connect and check a 12 volt solar charge regulator. The first thing you're going to do is take the number four cable. You'll connect red to positive, black to negative, and screw them on. This is the same location as the boat lift motor power cable. Take the battery side of the charge regulator and connect it to the number four cable. Then take the solar side and connect it to the solar panel. Now let's talk about the lights on the charge regulator. For the solar panel, it'll be blue while it's charging. Once it's fully charged, it'll turn green for float charging mode. If there's no light, it will either mean a bad connection or broken wire. For the battery light, you will either have red for low, orange for medium, or green for good. One of the most common questions is why do I have a red flashing light? A red flashing light can indicate either a blown fuse on the charge regulator wire or a missing spring. Or it could also indicate a blown fuse on the battery wire. We've included some extra fuses and springs that you can use if needed. A quick way to check that your solar charge regulator is functioning properly is to plug in each item independently. First, let's plug in the solar panel wire to the solar panel. Once you plug that in, you should have a blue light for charging and a red flashing light because the battery is disconnected. Then you'll disconnect it to check the battery. When you plug in the battery wire to the battery, you should have one of three color lights to indicate the battery status and no light for the solar panel since it's disconnected. Once both sides have been checked, you're all set up to plug in both sides. I'm Emily with Lake Light. Thanks for watching.